<clears throat> I took a reloading course on the weekend, and uh, it was just kind of an introductory thing. Really wasn't expecting much, but I figured for twenty bucks, you know, if I can learn one thing, it's worth my time. And I did come back with one thing that was well worth my twenty bucks, and that is a new way to anneal brass. Um, you know, the torch works, but it can it's kind of hit or miss, and it can be a little bit uneven. But one of the guys there that was uh, an experienced rifle reloader, and he came for the course. The course was pistol Pacific, and this is what he does. Into your lead pot. Um, I'm thinking if I had taken the prime road, it wouldn't have bubbled, because I did one a few minutes ago, and it didn't bubble like that. <clears throat> one thing though, you want to make sure your brass is absolutely clean. Now he said seven seconds, so I don't know, it's going to be close to seven seconds. And you do get some stuff stuck to it. Hard to do with one hand. Okay, I didn't get that cleaned off fast enough. Stick it back in and do it again. But uh, <clears throat> you wipe that off as soon as it comes out of the pot and generally doesn't stick. So try that again. It's a little warm on the fingers. Okay, I think I got that one way too hot because I was fucking with the camera. Grab another one. Okay, I kind of screwed that one up because I was trying to hold the camera and do things and I left it in too long. Now he said seven seconds, so I'm going to time this one. Let's get in the pot there. Um, I've done a few of these and they turn out alright. <clears throat> I find I dip them in and leave them in for about seven seconds, pull them out, wipe it off right away. Um, all the stuff comes right off. I also found if there's any dirt on the brass whatsoever, you're fucked. But, clean it first and you'll have trouble. So, Gloves would probably be a good idea here as well. So, I don't know how well I'll be able to see that. Uh, I think the glare from the window is screwing me. But, right about here, the depth that I dipped it in, up, it's got that definite annealed look. Now, I didn't drop this in water just because this is for educational purposes, but... Uh, yeah, so I think with a little bit of practice on that, I think that'll work out quite nicely. I just picked up a piece of hot brass. I meant to pick up this one. <clears throat> Move the camera. Sorry about that. Where is it? Right there. That's the one I left in too long. This one here, you can see, there we go. You can see the top half is annealed, the bottom half isn't. But like I say, a little bit of practice, I think this is going to save me a lot of time. Thanks for watching.